Hi guys, happy Saturday. So I'm sending this video to you, hopefully the night before, so you guys can watch it and make sure we have all the stuff that we need for our workout tomorrow. Um, kids are asleep, Joe's gone. So uh, I'm gonna do my best to demo these movements in a way that you can see them and hopefully practice, uh, get comfortable with it before we do it tomorrow. So, um, as usual, I'm going to run through all the movements that we're gonna hit. This includes warm up and workout. So our warm up, we usually, we've been doing the same thing and it works well, so we're sticking with that. Um, so six different movements, 30 seconds of each, going from one into the other. So these ones kind of flow together nicely. Um, so let me show you. So first one we're doing is mountain climbers. So back into that plank position that we all love so much. So what we're doing is we are driving our knees up to our chest um, and just kind of like horizontal climbing, right? So you wanna think of your legs like pistons, okay? So get into that plank position. And all we're doing is driving our knees up to our chest and switching, okay? So it should look like this. Or you can also do a little bit less aggressive where you're just driving your knees up to your chest and then switching. Okay, so both are very challenging. From there, we are gonna go right into our next movement, which is a primal pull through. So we're already in that plank position, right? Move this bitch out of the way. So we just finished our mountain climbers. From here, a primal pull through is a downward dog. So piking your hips up to the air, legs are straight into a downward dog. So dropping your hips to the ground, legs touch the ground, your chest lifts, nice big stretch, and then right back up, okay? So we're cycling through a downward dog into an up dog. From there, we're gonna do, this my next one? Ah, oh, yes, scorpion stretch. So after we finish our primal pull throughs, so, a couple more. We're gonna drop our belly to the ground. And this is a really awesome stretch for your low back, for your, the front of your shoulders, your chest. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna lay out with your legs extended behind you. Your arms are out, um, stretched out wide. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take one foot and you're gonna bring it cross over the other and you're gonna tap the ground. Okay, so you should feel a stretch in your spine, in your shoulder, keeping your arms long, stretch, bring it back to center, other side, big stretch, this one feels really good. So we're gonna do that, another dynamic stretch for us. Um, so those three movements should flow into each other nicely. Um, and then our next one, we're gonna do some swings. So, Similar to if you've ever done like a kettlebell swing, American kettlebell swings, you go from, uh, you hinge at the hips and you do a big leg and hip drive and then lock out overhead. So we're just gonna do that with our weights. Um, so whatever you have at home, I'm gonna use my cans. So all we're doing, we're gonna grab our cans. Our hip, feet are gonna be underneath our hips. We're gonna hinge back Load our hamstrings, feel that stretch, keeping your back nice and flat. We're gonna swing our arms behind us. And then as our hips extend and open up, we're gonna drive our arms overhead. It's hard to see, but, so what we're gonna do is just swing it back behind us, using that momentum to swing it overhead and right back down. Okay, so the top of the movement looks like this. So I'm swinging as if I'm standing up. And then I'm locking out overhead and right back down. Okay, so really the hip hinge is what's important. It creates momentum for the movement. Okay, so that is our movement number four. Next one, we're just gonna be doing some stretching. So we're gonna be working our chest muscles today with some push-ups. So it's important to get stretched out. All we're gonna do is we're gonna clasp our hands behind our back, okay? Just like this, lift our chest and stretch. You can extend your arms further back behind you to get a bigger stretch. You can also move side to side, roll 
roll your neck side to side. Just kind of stretching, relaxing your body and getting ready to work out. Um, our last one is just a standing fold. So really straightforward. All we're doing is kind of trying to relax our whole body, stand tall, and we're just gonna round our back and then relax our neck. Let everything just hang, let gravity kind of pull you down. Big stretch, everything's nice and loose. You kind of twist side to side. If you can get your hands to the ground, you kind of balance yourself. You can do a couple knee bends, wake everything up. Uh, and that is it for our warm up. So, a little bit of stuff to get our heart rate up some cardio, some dynamic stretching, and um, then we're ready to go. All right. So, for the workout, we're going to do five, five movements again. Um, sticking with Tabatas. So Tabata again is eight rounds of 20 seconds of work with 10 seconds of rest. We're focusing on one exercise each Tabata and we're doing five Tabatas. In between each Tabata, you get a one minute rest. Um, try to utilize that as well as you can to recover your heart rate and get ready for our next workout. Um, the more efficient you are uh, recovering, the better um, you're gonna be able to do with the workouts and um, the stronger you're gonna get. So recovery is equally as important as the workout itself. So focus on that as well. So first one, we are doing thrusters. So this is a really common CrossFit movement. We do these with barbells and dumbbells, but we're gonna be doing these with whatever weight we have at home. Um, so all it is is a squat front squat. So a front squat is you have your weight here, you're going to squat down and then as you're standing up, once your hips are open at the top, press it out, lock it out over overhead and then back down into your squat. So we want it to be one fluid moving okay. So here's what it looks like. So start with my weight front racked on my shoulders like this. Okay. So from here, I'm going to squat down and then aggressively, a big leg and hip drive, open up your hips and press out of the top, okay? So loading that spring and releasing it, okay? So the top of that movement again, so pretend I'm squatting down, open my hips up and press. Right back down, once my weight hits my shoulders, I'm back down in that squat, okay? So it's one fluid movement. It's a good full body um, strength and conditioning piece. So that's how we're gonna start our Tabatas, so with that one. And then we are gonna do a movement, it's called push up to down dog. So exactly as it sounds, we're gonna be doing a push up and then um, pushing our hips up into a downward dog position and then back down into a push up. There's lots of different variations. Push ups are really tough, so just gotta, um, be okay with where you're at and you'll get better every day. So here's what we're doing. So this is what it would look like standard. So push up, chest touches the ground, and then we're going to angle our hips back into a downward dog and then back into that plank push up position, dropping our chest to the ground. So that little downward dog in there gives you a really short break in between your push-up sets and a little bit of stretching as well. So there's other options that you can do if you don't have a, a standard push-up yet. Just, so let's say we're starting on our knees, but I'm gonna keep my feet on the ground as well. So knees are on the ground, push up, lift those knees up, lock out your legs, downward dog, Drop your knees, push up, and back up. You can also uh, push up to an elevated surface and do your downward dog. So that looks like this. So make sure it's stable. This is probably gonna slide, but I'm just doing it so you guys can actually see me. So I've got my bench here. I'm gonna push up, downward dog. So still doing that chest and Shoulder stretch, um, you can also do that with your knees as well. So 
Um, find the find the one that works best for you. After that, we're gonna do some static uh, court work. So this is called a hollow body hold. It's challenging, but you have ways to make it a little bit easier on yourself. Okay, sorry. So hollow body hold. You wanna be balancing on your butt. So your, your back is off the ground, your legs are off the ground, and you're balancing your body just on your tailbone and your tushy. So a traditional hollow body hold, you're extending your legs out and your arms are overhead, okay? You're pulling your belly button in, you're crunching your abs towards your hips, and you're creating this kind of banana position with your body, okay? If that's a little bit too much, that's really hard. Um, what we're gonna do, you can drop your arms down and you can drop your knees and you can also hold on to the back of your legs. Still creating that crunch in your stomach, trying to carve out your stomach hollow position, okay? So from here, we're just gonna hold it um, you can also practice extending one leg out and switching, okay? Um, so that's our little static core work. After that, um, you're going to need a box or a bench or ottoman or a stack of books or something stable, stable chair to do step ups. Um, the higher your surface, uh, the more challenged it's, it's gonna be, the more it's gonna work your glutes, which is great. Uh, so it's up to you as far as height goes. So I'm gonna use this bench that I got as a wedding gift from Maria. So with this one, it's nice and sturdy. All we're doing is we're stepping up, standing up tall and stepping back down, okay? So to make it more cardio intense, we just do the step ups a little bit faster, um, but just make sure you have a stable surface to do that on so we don't hurt ourselves. Um, so that's Tabata number four. And then our uh, last one is plank rotations. So these ones, uh, we're gonna finish in, with kind of a tough one. We're gonna go from a straight arm plank into a side plank and we're just rotating back and forth, okay? So what that looks like, is so plank position rotate reach plank reach so we're just going back and forth but you can also so you'll go here drop your knee and reach drop your knee and reach okay so that's it sorry that my videos are always so long we'll see you tomorrow